Are we on Lewis? Okay, thank you. Uh, welcome everybody to this um, planning board meeting. It's uh, to discuss two quasi judicial items. Uh, for everybody's edification, Commissioner Jones will not be here this morning. Her husband has got some uh, major health issues and she's with him uh, at his doctor in Pensacola. So uh, we're down to the four of us and we will move forward with uh, the planning items. Uh, let's see. First is QJ item, Sid. Uh, would anyone who anticipates testifying on any of the items stand and raise your right hand? Do you swear or affirm the testimony you will provide to this board will be the truth? Thank you. Whenever you come forward, if you would, just state your name, uh, spell your last name, and say that you've been sworn in. Have any of the commissioners had any ex parte communications? Yes. Okay, uh, has everyone turned in their form to the clerk? Yes. Okay, would any of those ex parte communications uh, make it not possible for you to render an, a fair and impartial decision? No. no. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mac, before you get started, I'm going to ask anybody that has any electronic device, please uh, silence them. If you have to take a phone call, please exit the chamber and uh, take your phone call outside. If you want to discuss something amongst yourself, please take it outside so it doesn't disrupt uh, the proceedings in here. With that said, Mac, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the first item on our QG agenda this morning is the Sand Dollar Court subdivision. Uh, this project is a small four-lot subdivision reviewed by Rita Bananyati, and I'll ask her to further explain the project. Good morning, Commissioners. Rita Banhunyadi, B-A-N-H-U-N-Y-A-D-I, from the Planning Department, and I would like to enter my staff report into evidence. Um, the Sand Dollar Court subdivision is a four-lot subdivision within an existing subdivision. Um, it's submitted by Dewberry Prevorish on behalf of Brian Duke. The parent lot is approximately 0.69 acre with the future land use of neighborhood infill. Um, the proposed um, four lot subdivision is planning to form their own uh, homeowners association. Um, there are no previous development orders issued for this site. We have not received any public comments Environmental and Planning Department does not have any outstanding uh, comments. The school board reviewed the projects and uh, determined that the project is uh, negligible. We have reviewed the compatibility analysis and we determined that the project is compatible with the surrounding area. Um, there are a few conditions for the approval. One of them would be um, proportion of fair share uh, payment would be a total of $11,400 and there would be a recreation fee payment. Um, we have an estimated amount but we're in a borderline of October 10th to transfer from 2016 to 17 uh, tax rolls so we're not certain. Um, about the amount, but that would be paid um, based on at the time of the payment. Um, additionally, um, the TRC uh, reviewed the project on June 7th and the Planning Commission on August 10th, and both of them uh, recommended the project for approval. And this would be my summary. If you have any questions, I would be glad to answer. Okay, for the record, we'll accept her staff report into evidence. Is there any questions for Ms. Rita? I don't know, other than um, stormwater. Well, I'm gonna leave that for Clifford. I'll, I'll leave that to Clifford. Yes. yes. Okay, uh, applicant. <sighs> Good morning, Commissioners. Uh, Cliff Nauer, K-N-A, 
U E R. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, so, as you mentioned, this is a four lot subdivision. Um, pretty much matches the adjacent subdivision uh, lots in terms of size and nature. Um, we do have uh, on site stormwater. Uh, we handle 25 year pre post, um, which is what the code requires. Um, and there's a uh, a couple of items that the owners have agreed to um, based on discussions with the uh, adjacent um, HOA, which is a 38 foot height restriction. The covenants and restrictions next door have a 38 foot height restriction. And so these owners have agreed to match their height restriction next door. Um, we've also uh, met with their HOA and their HOA has basically reviewed our entire package to make sure that um, there's no issues. So I'll uh, be happy to an handle uh, any kind of questions that you might have. What kind of uh, stormwater retention you have on there designed? It's 25-year pre-post. It's an exfil system. Okay. Yes, sir. On site. Any questions from the board? Okay. Thank you. Any questions from the uh, anybody in the audience? Any statements? Seeing none, what's the board's wishes? I make a motion. We approve. Second. Okay, we got a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 4 0. <clears throat> Sid? Yes, sir. Uh, so the next item uh, is the summer house rehearing. Uh, I believe Mac can give a short introduction, but there's also an attorney here representing the applicant that I believe would like to make a statement before we get started or a request. Mr. Chairman, I'm Matt Carr from the Planning Department. Just to briefly introduce our project, uh, this is a request to approve by final order. It was previously reviewed by Tim Brown. This is a rehearing on a major development order application submitted by Jenkins Engineering requesting approval to develop a bed and breakfast facility containing 25 guest rooms and a three story house on 13,130 square feet, consisting of 13,130 square feet on 0.65 acres. Future land use of neighborhood infill uh, and neighborhood commercial on the Inlet Beach neighborhood plan. Uh, project was originally heard on June 21st, 2016. Uh, it's located at 13161 Emerald Coast Parkway East. And, and I guess at this point, commissioners, um, I know that the attorney for the applicant has a request for the board, so I would suggest that we hear that. Uh, this come time. forward, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Dan Abbott, A-B-B-O-T-T. -T. I'm a member of the law firm of Weiss, Sirota, and Healthman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, your county attorney was kind enough to advise us uh, yesterday about Commissioner Jones's absence, and of course our thoughts go out to her and her family. Based upon the commissioner's uh, absence, we would ask for this matter to be continued uh, to a time that Commissioner Jones could join us. And commissioners, um, just briefly, I guess, going into how this case is back, or this matter is back before you. Um, as Max stated, it was originally heard by the board in June of 2016. Uh, only four members of the board were present at that time because Commissioner Commander, I believe, had an illness and was unable to make that meeting. Um, judge, uh, the matter was appealed uh, through a petition for it of certiorari. Judge Lewis entered an order stating um, that it was a two to two tie vote on a motion to deny the project. And Judge Lewis's order said that that tie vote was an improper denial of the project. So given the fact that we only have four board members and Judge Lewis's order, I do highly recommend that you guys consider continuing this until Commissioner Jones can be present. So we'll have a full board. And it's really just because of the unusual circumstance of Judge Lewis's order that I suggest that you do that. Okay. What's well, more wishes, uh, I think, uh, Sid, you provided possible date of October the 5th. Yes, sir. At 9 o'clock here at these chambers. Second. Providing we can get, there's another one already for this here. Maybe we can swap and get the TDC or wherever they could possibly meet. Um, October the 5th looked okay for the rest of the board far as the date is that satisfactory to the applicant it would be mr. chairman thank all you right. all right 
Do we need a motion? Yes. Yes, sir. A motion to continue. I make a motion. We continue to October the 5th. Okay, I'll be moved October the 5th, 9 a.m. South Walton Annex Chamber Building. Oh, we need a vote on the motion. Excuse me. A vote on the motion. I'm oh, I'm, sorry. I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> we have a motion and a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, sir. That's all we have, I believe. So do we stand adjourned. <laughs>